Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft Season 5 with me, False Symmetry. And today, look at this beautiful sunset. It looks so good. I love this sky at this time of day. Or night. Sort of in between, I guess. Uh, with my base, it's looking great. Especially this area. This really, really makes me want to expand the terrain. Although we won't be doing that today. I just got stuck on that fence. That was weird. Very, very weird indeed. So we'll get on with that another day. I will start moving the terrain this way a little bit. Kind of doing this sort of little greenery stuff. I can't remember what I called this at the start. I don't know. I guess terrain? Terraform? It doesn't quite count as terraforming. But, you know, making the ground look a little less boring. Because, you know, over there especially, it's just flat and green. So in these smaller areas I'll start doing that and then I guess it'll be easier to tell what should go where. Also I've changed the allium. Look it's now magenta. A lot of you guys in that video said magenta would be better and actually you know what I agree because I didn't have any of that light pink anywhere except for I guess well those aren't really light pink either but the magenta sort of matches the armor up there which is also the allium alliance armor. So actually, you guys were correct. I should have made it that colour. And now it is, and it looks pretty fantastic. How you doing, little piggy? You good? You still you still keeping an eye on these houses? Yeah? Awesome, awesome. But just, just don't go in. I, I, I say that, and have I? I've left all the doors open, haven't I? I mean, of course I did. <laughs> oh dear. So today we're actually going to be heading down underground next to the sugarcane farm and we're going to be working right here. You guys may or may not remember that in possibly the last episode, I'm not sure, I've been away uh, between then and now, but basically I said in a past video that I want to build some extra farms here because this originally was meant to be just a viewing platform which I should probably change the walls over there because some of them are stone. Some of them are dirt. Not looking so great. I should probably head over there and do that. This area over here, though, looks pretty smart. I did add a door, though, because... I, I don't know, actually. Can I change this? Oh, I can! Okay, perfect. We'll do that. We'll make that all stone. And looking a little bit neater than it is. Although you can sort of see through it either way. Actually, saying that. You know, you know what? I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. Let's grab some stone. And grab that. And do this... Is this gonna be a bad idea? Possibly. Let's have a quick look. Jump, 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 jump. And... You know what? That, that works. That's a lot better. And then that's just like a little maintenance entrance. Cool! We've made it look even tidier. So yes, today I'm actually going to dig out this area here and gather up some resources and we're going to be making a farm. Now today we're actually going to be building a farm from one of you guys. One of you guys, uh, Tamriel I think is the name, sent me a link to their video saying that they made a farm. And I looked at it and I was like, you know what, that's a pretty good tutorial, pretty good video. Pretty interesting farm design, not one that I have seen before, if I'm honest. It uses observer blocks, which should be fun, which I think I collected in here. Yeah, I've actually been on the server for a long while, if you look at the chat, you can tell. You can tell how long I've been on the world when you see loads of saved worlds, because I think that's every... 20 minutes or so. So yeah, I've actually gathered the stuff together already. So we've got some observer blocks, we've got some pistons, I need some redstone, repeaters, torches... I've just picked up a load of other random blocks that I might use. I don't know why I've got leaves. I guess we can use some of them to possibly decorate. I'm not really sure what theme I'm going to go with. I'm going to build the farm and then decide afterwards. But uh, I'm looking forward to today's episode. A little bit of redstone, a little bit of a chat perhaps about my recent trip because I just got back from my invention, Belfast. It was super, super fun. And uh, yeah, let me land. Dig out the area, and then we'll have a bit of a chat about the event, and also build a, hopefully, cool and working farm. Working being the, the key word here. So we're going to dig out this little bit as well, because I completely forgot it. And I've actually dug out, I think, a little bit more than I need to. But that's okay, that's okay. We can we can leave that little area back there as like a maintenance... We can, you know what? Can this door go through here? That, oh... Oh, not, not quite, not quite, nearly. Can I go this way? Oh, perfect. Actually, that's not perfect. That's not going to work. I'm going to have to either make that terrain there a little bit taller, which could work, could work, and then go in further down, but 
I don't know. We'll leave it like that for now and possibly add another maintenance ex entrance, I guess. Yeah, maintenance entrance will be helpful. But yeah, so today I'm actually gonna, I think, build a wall of farms. And by wall of farms, I mean basically it's gonna be pumpkin and melon. I think I want to do like one side pumpkin, one side melon, all in the same farm because, you know, pumpkin and melon work the same way. I just need to figure out if I want it to be exactly the wall there or if I want to move it back one or back two. I don't know, I've got some thinking to do, we'll do some planning. And I've just thought, did I bring the box? I did. Do I have any hoppers? I don't. That is something I'm gonna need. So it has got very gloomy all of a sudden. I did think it was daytime, but then I came back out and it was just pitch black. So, uh, who even knows anymore? We're gonna head back over, I've got some hoppers now. And I've sort of decided where I think I want this to go, although I've just thought oh, I don't actually have the materials to build. Oh no, I do! I do! Don't worry. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. So what I'm going to do is actually dig out this here. I'm going to sort of build like half of it. So we're going to build it to here. And then we're going to go down a slab. And then the farm is going to start like here. I think that's going to be best, because then you're going to be standing back here. You're going to be able to see the whole farm in like one shot without having to, I don't know actually, what, what is my, uh, 30 is on 80, yeah, that's not too bad, that's not too bad, I feel like that's probably what people use on the server, not that that matters necessarily, but yeah, so it'll give us a little bit of a space for a wall design there, and then we will have, ba like, oh, okay, I'll be build the rest out of stone real quick to sort of show you whereabouts it'll be, so that'll be the dirt, and then we've got Oh, then we need no, oh no, then we need another bit of dirt, because we need to obviously plant the pumpkins this side, like the stems, and then the pumpkins actually grow that side, which is why this is slabbed, because I don't think they can grow there. Yeah, they have to grow on dirt if that is correct. I think that's correct. So then I think we need pistons here, because that's going to push the pumpkins into the hoppers, which will be underneath this, I think. And then we've got observer blocks above here, then I think I'm going to add like a wall there because I think that's going to be a nice sort of shape to go with. Yeah, it's going to be sort of a slanted roof perhaps, maybe we'll do some stuff with some slabs. But uh, yeah, I need to uh, get this in. I'm going to plant all of the pumpkins I think, uh, till the ground and add some water. Which actually saying that, the water needs to possibly go in here. Can it go there? Maybe. I don't know if that's going to reach the middle, but maybe it'll matter, maybe it won't. I guess we're going to find out. It is definitely um, going to be trial and error right now. So whilst I'm actually building this, I thought, you know, well, this is actually the perfect time to talk a little bit about my invention. So as I mentioned, it's it was in Belfast this time round. I've been to previous events that have been in Dublin. I've been to Cork. I even went to Glasgow for a sort of like combination of events. I think that was Resonate, uh, which I think actually this year they've done something with Insomnia. I'm actually not 100% sure. I think it... Uh, interacted or was at the same time as this event possibly was it on recently i'm not even sure i'm confused at times and dates at the moment you'll have to forgive me i'm a little bit tired i had an actual delayed flight last night my first ever flight that has been delayed and honestly it wasn't fun do not recommend i have forgotten a hoe saying that i've also forgotten the uh the seeds will go and fetch those as the sun is coming up look at that like, i love i love how the clouds are, like yellow i think that's all that changes really between like, like this is the daytime sky, all that changes is the colours I think, and it really just, like it doesn't matter that the clouds don't change, I think, yeah, I think it's just the colour that changes, I've, I've, I don't know why it's, I've only just worked that out. So yeah, my mansion in Belfast was super super fun, I had some Q&As, uh, we had a Q&A each day, and then some signings each day, and it was just so so awesome to meet you guys, some of you guys gave me some, some little gifts, which was awesome, thank you so much for those, uh, I really really do appreciate that little little handmade like drawings and stuff like that are always really, really nice to receive. I need to actually think really quick for a moment. There we go to figure out where the pumpkin seeds are. I've only got one melon seed. Do I do I really only have one melon? There's no way I've only got one melon seed. Do I need melons? Please have some melons. Come on, come on now. Mel mel melons? Oh, I have forty melons. Wait, 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 wait. To make this into seeds, do I need? Oh, perfect. Yes, I think se seven will do. Does that work with pumpkins as well? I seem to have like completely forgotten how melons and pumpkins work. 
which is a little bit odd. I think that's because I used to use these as... Oh! Oh, that's weird. You get, like, four. Okay. Well, we've got some spare, I guess, if we need them. Oh, also, I'll get my hoe, which is in this chest. No. In this chest. No. In that. No. It should be in... The it should actually be in that one. I've got a feeling it's actually in... <gasps> there it is. I can see it. There. Can you put enchants on this? That would be kind of cool. So yeah, like I mentioned, we had some Q&As, we got some good questions. One of you guys, who I'm hoping is going to watch this, uh, asked me a question about Hermitcraft, which was really, really awesome. So yeah, the event was super, super awesome. I was only there for the weekend, but in that weekend you get to do so much stuff and um, meet so many people that it's sort of like a very, very intense intense day you're kind of on your feet all day and and stuff but it's definitely 100% worth it so if you ever get a chance and you want to come say hi and I'm at an event especially then uh, then please do so but uh, I think I'm actually gonna work out right now where the hoppers go I want to say they go underneath here so to do that at least at least my way of doing hoppers I probably need to get up actually out of here first is to work out where the chest is gonna go first which actually, you know what? This might go right here. Right, 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 right. One moment, one moment. Here? That could work. Yeah, because then I can put them in the back of that. So I'll put a hopper in... Oh, but this is going to be a problem. Hopper in the back of there, back of there. And then I'll just hook them all up into that. There you go. Wait, have I, have I worked something out? Am I clever? But is that going to collect? I think it does. I think it's like the hopper minecart over here in that it will collect through the block. As long as it's only one block tall, it should be able to collect it. So basically what we'll do is then put this back. We'll leave it like so. We'll put blocks next to the chest at some point when we uh, start making this look a little bit nicer. Because it looks a little bit rough around the edges right now. But that looks like it's going to work, I think. Yeah, that'll, that, that'll work. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So genius false is a genius, like I just said. <laughs> I don't know why I said that twice. Look, I'm going to do that. Because the whole idea about redstone is that you put right redstone on blocks that aren't like dirt or stone or wherever it is you are. So that you don't accidentally get rid of them. I've done that with water. And hopefully... Oh, actually, I need to make a water source real quick, I think. Just, just in case I need extra. Uh, we'll put it down here so it's not in the way of any redstone. And, um... Yeah, so hopefully I shouldn't accidentally get rid of those. I probably will. I'm going to jinx it right now. And uh, I shouldn't have any issues. We can even cover those over with blocks when we want to. There you go. Now you don't know the water's there. Perfect. Okay. Okay. False is an idiot. False is an absolute idiot. She has... Um, I'm going to talk about myself in third person right now because I don't want to admit that it's me. <laughs> I need some extra room for this redstone. I've just thought... I need to move this whole thing down. Well, I guess at least I haven't built the whole thing before moving it. Oh, this is why I suck at redstone, guys. Terrible. Okay, so looking at the design, that is how low we need to go down. So I'm going to move it over to the right a little bit in hopes that that doesn't affect... That's going to affect stuff as well. Oh, I've made so many mistakes. I might need to add some stairs here. I think stairs are the way to go. We need to bring it forward... Get rid of this floor that we planned out previously. Dang it. I even thought it through, man. And uh, and still and still it's ruined. My plans are ruined. Right, we need to move this whole thing forward, down, and hopefully we won't interact with any of this grass up here. Okay, now I've sort of got to the hopefully fun bit. This is quite fun, actually. Uh, just making sure that I'm doing this one space apart every time. I've got the chest down there, which I don't really like, but we can work that out later. As long as the, the blocks get get somewhere, it's very, very easy to to change that. I might even see if anyone wants to make a like a, a storage area for it, possibly. I don't know. It depends on how how well this works, let's uh, let's say. So I'm going to place two blocks there, that there, that there, that there, and that there. And we've basically got this uh, this repeating pattern. Now, I think I should be okay by having not one right by this wall. Because on the other side, it's sort of odd. And you are going to have to see this a little bit from this side. There is one block missing. There, perfect. So, this we will we'll sort out of the design. The design is a little bit iffy right now. So, yeah, that one's touching the wall. That one's not. But that shouldn't be an issue because the observer blocks will actually be moving 
multiple of these pistons. I actually don't really like how this looks right now. It's very, very low down. Way more low down than I actually imagined it would be, even after moving it. Uh, so I've got a lot of redstone to put on these, and I need to install some observer blocks, which should be facing downwards, which I think is going to be easier if we get rid of all of that. They should be, if I remember correctly, here, here, here. No, they need to be facing upwards. Okay, that's looking much better, isn't it? Blimey, that took me ages. Okay, I guess I'm going to use some dark oak wood instead of the spruce that I wanted because I don't have it on me. And I've literally just had to go back and get some slime balls. So I'm not going to head back to the storage room just yet because I don't like going back and forth too much unless it's absolutely necessary. We'll probably change that at some point though. So uh, basically these pistons are going to be picking up these blocks here. But at the back, I think if I do this correctly, I haven't got a way round yet. I think that needs to be like that. Then we need this like this on four ticks. We need a torch up here. And then if I remember correctly, we need this to face another way, which means I need to probably get up here and do that. And there you go. So now how this should work is if a pumpkin grows there, that's fine. But as soon as one goes, goes there, well, obviously, if there's a pumpkin, it will pop off. I mean, <laughs> I actually forgot that, obviously, blocks will just get pushed forward. Uh, they will basically pop off. Uh, have I got a pumpkin to test this out on? I don't. I should have actually bought one with me. That would have been a good idea. But the idea is, once this updates, this observer, it will push both of them forward, and it will put them in the chest. But like so. Like it's done with all that other stuff that I've got there. Okay, that was a bit stressful, but yeah, uh, I've got it, I've got it working, we will just need to add the pumpkins and then watch it work, hopefully, but I've got the redstone down, guys, it's just not looking so great, which is the, uh, the ultimate thing that I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time on, it looks like. Look at me go, pro redstone, and look at this, boom. Oh, no, I just did them all correct, <laughs> and then the one I filmed, I do it wrong. I was doing it in, like, record time, I was like, oh, this is perfect, like, boom, done. There you go, that, that one was correct. There you go, so now, all the pistons should be extended towards the observer blocks. All we need to do is cover this up, and, yeah, we majorly, majorly need to sort this floor out. I'm thinking currently moving this whole thing down so the stairs are actually going further past this part. And, yeah, a little bit more level with this, which is a pain in the butt because we have to dig it all up, but it should look better. It should look a lot better. So I realise it's still looking ugly, but it has changed a lot recently. Like, a lot, a lot. I'm actually thinking of moving this back as well, so that I can make a little, like, too wide platform here so that it goes, like, so instead, because this is still a floor I want to be able to get off at. And look at this. Um, and it's quite nice actually now that I can walk down here because what I'm gonna do is put some glass panes here So it's like a window and actually you know what it works. It works. Okay We just need to sort out the staircase, but it is working the same as before I still don't have a pumpkin on me so I can show you how it works, but it's working perfectly um, And I just need to figure out what's going on here. Obviously this needs to be covered over I'm also going to change these as well before I forget because I don't really like that darkness. I need lights in this as well. I think maybe lights in the ceiling might be nice because it's sort of industrial a feel in here currently. Everything is stone brick. I will change it, don't worry. Uh, I was going to make this like a pillar, but it, I don't know, it sort of works with the crafting bench. That looks quite nice. But yeah, everything's looking a little bit boring. I've got a feeling though I might have to stick with this ceiling. No, actually that might be okay. It's not grass. Sweet, okay, so we've got a little bit more room, room to work with. We just need to make this thing look pretty. I'm going to work a whole bunch on some different design ideas in my head and sort of try them out. And, um, yeah, we're going to see what we can do because this place definitely needs to uh, to now look pretty. And also we need to plant the pumpkins because, yeah, we can uh, maybe see how many grow while we're building. That might be a good idea. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't know what's going on. I wish I had my, like, face cam on right now because my hands are in the air. I am not touching the keyboard right now at all. That's a bit weird. I'm gonna be honest. It's a little bit weird. Okay, I've gathered up some bone meal and this place is looking way, way better than it last looked. I've even added some structure to it. I'm just gonna try and... I've been like nose diving into here and it's been so much fun. And then that just sort of failed a little bit. 
I also managed to like land on the roof. I like panicked and landed on one of those roofs instead of heading down to here. But yeah, uh, I've added lighting uh, underneath here, which I think looks really nice actually, right above the observer blocks. Now this here isn't uh, like the 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 of uh, the water isn't um, actually like reaching it. Obviously, like it, you know, only reaches four blocks. I don't seem to have any room in my inventory, which is not helpful. But I reckon if I make these full stems. The pumpkins will actually grow, at least that's what I seem to remember. So technically we're going to use that as a little bit of a design feature. We've got a stripy, stripy, uh, tealed, tealed grass. Uh, now half of this is pumpkin, half of this is melon. Not that you can tell because both stems look the same. I sort of wish Mo Yang made them both differently. Uh, or at least just, yeah, just a little, little, little different touch at some point because that would have been quite nice. Oh, look, I've actually got spare shulker boxes on me. Perfect. Got so much junk on me right now, it is ridiculous. So I'm trying to figure out what to do up there. I want to add the fences at some point. I don't know how and where. Don't know if I could like... You know what, I'm actually thinking a little bit like I could uh, make the redstone visible a little bit. Like I reckon if I made... If I made these here, like so. Because that's not going to affect any of the actual redstone, which is nice. I could possibly add some here too. We can always change these blocks to something else if necessary. I'm going to make these look nice as well just in case that's going to be seen. I mean, I might as well. Did I miss one there? No, it's because I've got a full block there. That's why. That's why. Uh, those bits can be open because you don't see them from down below. Oh, well, actually, you might be able to see them from up here. A little bit. A little bit. I'm thinking we'll continue that stripe there. Actually, let's only do half, because otherwise we're going to have to get rid of a lot more wood. And then, instead of like blocking that off or whatever, we use fences along there. <gasps> that looks so cool! Dude, okay, I'm, I'm really happy with this. I think that looks amazing, especially as I'm tired and, and, and stuff. I've actually come up with a half-decent design! I'm actually really surprised! I'm actually, honestly, really surprised. My brain apparently works on um, being tired. Okay, that... That I'll go with that. I need to record winter videos when I'm tired more often. <laughs> Look at that. Is that maybe maybe it actually looks terrible. And actually I'm I'm wrong. I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna gonna actually watch this this uh for a second in F1. I'm gonna go AFK, get myself a cup of tea to keep myself some more awake. And uh we'll speed it up and you guys will see what happens when the observer blocks uh get melons and pumpkins and stuff. So yeah. Watch it and we'll have uh, hopefully a few pop off and uh, be collected in the chest and that will be the test to see if it's working. Awesome. So let's just say I did that. I did exactly what I just said. I came back and let's just say pistons were going off like crazy. <laughs> like three in a row because these three get set off if this observer, you know, gets set off. Um, basically they were just like, they kept pushing, they kept, they kept going, they kept going. So what I've done is I've made like a little way down down here and I think it because what was happening was I accidentally placed these like so which meant that I didn't notice as you can see it's quite difficult to tell the difference at least at least in my eyes right now um that it was on the wall and therefore it was like kind of uh, I guess setting a bud going is that what you would call it I think so something like that uh, don't, don't expect me to figure it out but um yeah so those torches definitely 100% need to be on the floor not on the wall, on the floor, because otherwise, otherwise you, you have an issue. So I'm going to tidy this up here at some point, don't worry. But for now, that looks pretty good. But yeah, I'm so happy with this. I just think it looks so neat and tidy and just, well, a little bit of a mess because I've got shock boxes everywhere. But other than that, like, this looks professional. Like, real, like this looks like Mumbo would make it, right? Everyone's going to be like, no, false. Mumba makes way better stuff. Sorry. Sorry. Have I offended Mumba? I'm not sure. I don't know. But um, what I do think is that it works really, really well. And it has... Look, it's been working. It's started collecting melons and pumpkins, which is awesome. So once it starts collecting a lot, what I'm going to do is, like, say it's the top of pumpkins, the bottom are melons. And I'll keep an eye on it, make sure it's not getting too filled up. If it is, we'll add more chests. That's easy enough to do. And we'll add like a little storage underneath it. I have just figured out though, how how have I missed this? 
I think it, I think it's because I'm tired, man. I'm missing little things like that. Also, the ceiling needs doing, which I totally, totally, I totally noticed the ceiling needs doing as well. It wasn't, I, I didn't forget that at all. I think, well, what, what should we do for the ceiling? Should we have, no, I don't, I don't think I want stairs because I really, really like seeing that dark um, oak up there as well. I think something like that, and then maybe these can be, just, this can just be stone because that was the original plan, leaving it stone on the ceiling down here anyway. So... Is that gonna be the finishing touch right there? Have we have we done it? Have we succeeded? What does this look like from here? Actually, let's sort of maybe get some slabs going on here as well. Hadn't really thought about or planned this yet, but it looks a little bit better. I don't wanna make it look too small of an entrance. So a few slabs here and there look good. We'll head down. And here we go! Look at that, it looks so good, and uh, I can actually show you guys it working now, if I grab these pumpkins. Uh, so yeah, like I said, if one grows there, it doesn't push, but once one grows next to it, under the observer block, it pushes it, it gets collected by the chest. Oh, it just, it's just so good. I'm so happy. Maybe, maybe it's because I'm tired, I'm going to use that as my excuse forever now. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I totally think that, that is... A great farm. I'm so happy with it. So, so happy with it. The link will be down below for the tutorial by Tamriel. Uh, it's so, so cool. Really, really like the design. And um, yeah, the server's laggy, so I'm actually going to log off. Actually, no. What I'm going to do is AFK over there. I've decided. There we go. That's my plan. My plan for this evening is AFKing near the pumpkin farm whilst uh, I'm editing this video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know down below what you think of it. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.